Hello. I would like to fix our political system. Why? Because it is broken. How do you know? Because we have too much public debt. How much debt? Total state government debt is 1.1 trillion dollars. That is a lot of debt. And the federal government debt is 14 trillion dollars. That is a lot of debt. And the social security liability is 15 trillion dollars. That is a lot of debt. And the prescription drug liability is 20 trillion dollars. That is a lot of debt. And the Medicare liability is 50 trillion dollars. That is a lot of debt. Altogether that is more than 100 trillion dollars. That is a lot of debt. And some of the debt is owed by you. How much do I owe? Every taxpayer owes about one million dollars. That is a lot of debt. I do not have one million dollars. Sorry. You owe one million dollars. But I do not have one million dollars. Sorry. You owe one million dollars. You are not listening. I do not have one million dollars. Sorry. You owe one million dollars. Why? Because the system is broken. But I cannot pay one million dollars. That is why you must fix the system. Okay. How can I fix the system? You can start by firing politicians who will not fix the system. Okay. I will fire the politicians who will not fix the system. Those politicians do not want to be fired. Sorry. I must fire the politicians who will not fix the system because I do not have one million dollars. But those politicians do not want to be fired. Sorry. This is a democratic republic. Correct. In a democratic republic, the voters can fire their politicians. Correct. Since my incumbent politician is a Republican, I will vote for the Democrat. That will not work. Why? Because a Democrat cannot beat your Republican incumbent. Why? Because you live in a Republican district. Okay. Then I must move to a Democratic district. That will not work. Why? The incumbent in the Democratic district is a Democrat. Why do I care? That incumbent does not want to be fired either. I do not care. And a Republican cannot beat a Democrat in a Democratic district. I see. So you cannot fire the incumbent, even if you move to a new district. I'm screwed. Correct. But I thought that we just fired a bunch of incumbents who would not fix the system. Wrong. 87% of incumbents in the 2010 election were re-elected. So the incumbent almost always wins. Correct. So my vote does not really count. Correct. In the general election, your vote does not really count. So I cannot fire the incumbent by voting in the general election. Correct. So I must fire the incumbent before the general election. Correct. How does the incumbent get to the general election? The incumbent gets to the general election by winning the primary election. So I must fire the incumbent in the primary election. I must vote in the Republican or Democratic primary election. Correct. But I'm not a Republican. I know. That is why I like you. And I'm not a Democrat either. I know. That is also why I like you. But I must vote in the Republican or Democratic primary election to fire the incumbent, even though I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. Correct. But the incumbent does not want to be fired. Sorry. The incumbent must be fired if they will not fix the system, because I do not have one million dollars. I understand. So I will fire my incumbent by voting in the primary election. Sorry. That will not work. I'm confused. Why will that not work? To fire the incumbent in the primary election, you must vote for the opponent. Fine. I will vote for the opponent in the primary election. That will not work. Why? 99% of incumbents win the primary election. Why? 80% of incumbents do not have an opponent in the primary election. Why? Over the past 30 years, more than 90% of incumbents have won re-election. I will ask for the fourth time. Why? You want answers? I think I'm entitled to them. You want answers? I want the truth. You cannot handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has political parties. And those political parties build walls to keep opponents out of primary elections. And those political parties are controlled by the incumbents. They do not work for you. They work to stay in power. They work for the lobbyists. They work for the donors. 
That is the truth. I see. The incumbent does not want a primary opponent. I see. The political parties do not want a primary opponent. I see. The lobbyists do not want a primary opponent. I see. The donors do not want a primary opponent. I see. So an opponent cannot get the support of the political parties. And an opponent cannot raise money from lobbyists and donors to run in the primary election. I understand. So the incumbent does not have a primary opponent. I'm screwed. If you want to fire the incumbent, you and your friends must recruit a primary opponent. Okay. And you must vote in the primary election. Okay. And your friends must vote in the primary election. Okay. So if my friends and I recruit a primary opponent and we vote in the primary election, we can fire the incumbent. Correct. And when the opponent wins the primary election, they will win the general election. Correct. If we can fire the incumbent, we can fix the system. Correct. And if we fix the system, I will not have to pay the one million dollars. Correct. That is good news. I like you. Thank you. And the people like you too. Thank you. But the incumbents will not like you. Correct. And the political parties will not like you. Correct. And the lobbyists will not like you. Correct. And the donors will not like you. Correct. But we can fix the system anyway, because there are more of us. Correct. They are screwed. I do have one more question. Of course. How will the new politicians fix the system? That is a good question. I will answer that question in another video.